we go. Hmm. Okay. Well, there we go. Yeah, I I could tell the music was going to be broken right off the bat. So, let me raise the volume up a little bit. Um See that that would be nice. Okay, do you want another Super Mario Bros? Okay. Um, Super Mario Edit. Um, I... You know, I've looked at playing some uh, Mario 64 hacks. I have, but uh, I've not played them yet. And Tower of Bias 5. I might play it. Um, I know it's a giant collab hack of sorts. It's like a community, um, what's it called, thing, but, uh, I might, I might play it in the, some point. Not sure about on stream, but, uh, cause I will probably only be able to stream for like another half hour, 40 minutes or so. Is I have my parents coming over for stuff later tonight. Okay. Um, yeah, on my uh, 3DS, I really don't use the 3D. And that's probably because of my really awkward, um, oh, what's it called? Prescription? Um, yeah. I have, I have a really awkward prescription, so 3D works, I just, it hurts my eyes a lot, so I don't really use 3D at all. Um, no, I have not played any of the Soul games. I keep being told that I should, but I have not played any of them yet. A monitor. Um, a monitor for the Oculus or an active shutter uh, 3D monitor. And I'm assuming this level has two exits because it was red. Um, I would go for flips, uh, which is floating IPS patcher or floating IPS, whatever they decided to fully call it. A progressive 3D, yeah, a progressive 3D monitor would be extremely expensive. Hmm. I will find this secret exit at some point. Okay, let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Well, thank you for following me. I need to actually set up some, uh, I need, what I need to do is get a bot and, um, uh, get one of those little, like, thanks for following things that displays when, um, people follow. Because that would be nice. That would be nice if, if, in case I did not see someone followed me oh Proton John is playing Mario Kart he must be playing uh, Mario Kart 8 he was playing that the other uh, day too I watched some of it but not a huge ton okay so let's just continue onwards and do things I, you know, I watched Proton John only because he was one of the first LPers I watched. Um, and I, I quite enjoy his commentary style, but I don't watch a ton of his uh, streams because they are kind of all over the place. I really enjoyed his uh, Superman 64 non LP LP. That is something I actually quite enjoyed. 
Okay. It's kind of a shame that um, he doesn't have it uh, really working right now. But not a whole lot he could really do about that. Um, yeah, I like, I really do like the, uh, did you know gaming and, um, uh, game theories or, uh, Gaijin Goomba and, like, Culture Shock and stuff like that. Come on, get out of the way. Come on, running doesn't seem, what, I am using, I switched over to, uh, ZSNES because, uh, ZMZ broke this hack horribly, so. Um. Well, he he doesn't upload a lot, but that was due to he actually put out a video or something about that why he doesn't update much or upload much right now. And that was mainly for the Su Superman 64. Um, he wanted to finish that before updating anything else. And because it got so many uh, things happened that pushed that back, he kind of became really stubborn on it. Um, critical. I will have to possibly look him up too. Because I, I've kind of gotten to the point that um, once I got like a hundred people I followed in total on YouTube, I don't really watch or subscribe to anyone else. But a lot of the channels I'm subscribed to don't really post a lot. I just don't want to unsubscribe in case they do post something because the stuff they actually posted I really enjoyed, which is kind of s sad. Disappointing? I don't know. I don't know what you'd want to call it. Probably disappointing. Um, I do not actually use um, Reddit very much or ever, really. Reddit was one of those things I never, like, social media in general, I never really got into. Um, so Reddit was one of those things that I just kind of didn't get into at all which a lot of people have been telling me oh go to uh, reddit put my name out there and stuff but yeah whatever um good mythical morning I have not watched them and quite possibly should I do not know okay let's see And bounce up here and ooh, auto scroll. Upwards auto scroll. And there we go. Ugh. So many Mario hacks today. Well, just two, but still. I'm kind of getting tired, actually. But that's probably because I went to bed at like two o'clock last night or so and got up at like eight um let's see I'm missing something um find a clean ROM what should I look for um to be honest it's really hard to say what you need to do is download a ROM and then put it into the clean ROM verifier and take Take whatever ROM you get and so you you get a ROM put it in the clean ROM verifier if it comes back clean then you're good but there's no real definitive way to tell if a ROM is going to be clean or not that's the downside so um, that is the only the best thing I can say is there really is no definitive answer to finding out if it's clean or not. Um Yeah, I I should uh look them look them up. I 
I really like it when people have, like, really interesting, like, real conversations on shows. But at the same time, I also like people that can, like, commentate by themselves. So, it's a kind of a mix between the two, in my opinion. Um... Okay... I think, yeah. I'm going to say, I think I missed something. And hop, hop. There we go. And going this direction. Hello, Mr. Drybones. Hmm. Spike thing. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I can't just do that. There we go. MU Paradise. That is a place that does exist. Um. Yes, MU Paradise may be a place that, uh, pretty much what what time said still don't know how to pronounce your username but I'm going to pronounce it time or timed one of the two um mods okay I will look at it probably after I'm done streaming uh what uh mods Mods as in, do I have mods in chat, or what? Well, see, that's why that's why I'm uh, saying timed, because time as in the spice is T-H-Y-M. So, T-H-Y-M-D. Yeah, I, I could say the letters. But that takes too much time. Uh, no, I don't actually have any mods in chat right now. I don't think I'm really big enough to really need a mod currently. Um, I might in the future want to get a mod or so that uh, could probably be in the same time zone or relative time zone that... Uh, Yeah, if I if I ever do get a mod, it'd probably be someone that would be able to um, view the streams on a regular basis. I need to figure out if uh, I need to sit near my mic or not. That is something I should probably try and figure out. Hello, yellow cheapy cheap. Um. Oh, Mega Drive. I never, I was never that big on Sega, only for the fact I never grew up with it. I was always Nintendo and PlayStation. Um, yeah, I never really got into uh, Sega, so I never really got the whole Sonic thing. Yes, I will, I will uh, look at the friend code thing after I am done streaming. Um, I, so my hope as of right now, which I've stated in the past, is I hope to stream at least once a week, uh, starting out. And I can't figure out if Fridays or Saturdays work better. That's the only big thing, uh, I need to figure out is which day works better, but... I do hope that I can start streaming weekly, at least. Because that would be nice to do. I actually like like being able to stream and have uh, real-time conversations with viewers. That is why I decided that I wanted to stream in the first place. Um, yeah. I, I knew about Sonic. I've played Sonic games. I actually have one of them on my tablet that I got for free on the Amazon app of the day, whatever. But uh, I suck at Sonic, so I will probably never LP it because I suck at Sonic. Um, 
Well, see, if I did... I, I work on Sundays. That's the that's the big thing, is I work Sundays starting at 7, ending at 7. So I work 12-hour days, but I only work 3 or 4 days a week, which makes things a lot easier to deal with. But, uh, yeah, I might, I might do Fridays because I have less going on on Fridays, so it'd probably be easier to deal with. But if I uh, did Saturdays, I would probably do something more like this is afternoon, not really a morning thing. Uh, I really don't want to play this level again to get the normal exit. See, I that's the thing is I would probably try to do it on Friday. Um, I just need to set up a good time. Because right now worked out perfect uh, because my wifey went to her brother's uh, grad party and so she took the children beasts and so no one's home right now. So it's a lot nicer because it's quiet. But if I stream during the week, um, I would have children up and all that. Um, yeah. But at the same time, I'm also Pacific Standard, so whatever time I start streaming would be my time zone, and I don't really know all the other time zones. Um, yeah, if I could do real-time cuts, I could. I could do real-time cuts, but you'd still have to wait the time to do that. Because that is something... Because I can pause the stream. I can pause the stream and then go and uh, return, but still. GMT. I would have to look up what GMT is compared to PST. That is what I would have to do. Because essentially, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, all day I'm free for the most part. So I don't have to do anything like those days, ever. But... My marriage I've been I've been married for a long time now. I've been married for like three years, four years, something. I don't know. I don't keep track. Wifey is in charge of that. Um basically well alright, so I generally try and upload my videos around noon PST. I'm not sure when um Around eight and a half hours ago. So eight and a half hours ago would be roughly 10? 10, 10 o'clock? About, yeah. It's about 6.30 now. So eight and a half hours ago would be like 10.30. Or 10 o'clock or so. Oh, I wish there was a shortcut. Oh, please let this be a shortcut of some sort. Okay, no idea if that was a shortcut or not. Probably was not, but I'm going to pretend it was to make myself feel better. Uh, water stages... So water stages aren't bad. They're really not that bad of a thing, but because they're so slow, it just, they get on my nerves because I'm not really doing anything special. I'm just kind of floating. Um, six tiles, yeah. That that shortcut really wasn't anything. Um, two hours ahead. That could possibly be the case. I'm at 6.30, so if you're at 4.30, um, I don't know what time zone that is. The, the water stage is not bad, and especially with the fish that are all different, Give some variety to what you're doing, but you're really just going in a straight line. Ah, there we go. A cunning strategy with uploads. I schedule mine for the most part, but it breaks annotations I have found. Rune Factory. Uh, yes, I actually have one of the games of Rune Factory. 
Upload on half hour. Why would you upload on half hours? That is my question. Let's see. Um, two minutes after the half hour interval. Interval. Okay, come on, Yo God, no, Yoshi. Thank you. Wow, they are making noise. Which I was not expecting. Well, I get what you're saying. Like, so instead of 6.30, you do 6.32. But why the half hour, the two minutes after half hour interval? Um. But, um. Couldn't schedule... You can schedule... Can you schedule one for 702? I don't... I haven't really looked at what the uh, scheduling thing is. Um... Oh yeah, no, you do. You, for, um... What's it called? Scheduling, you have to do half hours. Um... I, you know, I would love a Majora's Mask 2. Um, maybe not Majora's Mask, but another Majora's Mask type game. That darker feel to it. That kind of Twilight Princess had that a little bit, but Majora's Mask was just the best. Um, feed for views. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm aware of. I don't think I feed for views. So by saying I don't think I do, I probably don't. Is what uh, I'm saying. Um, uh, the hammer. Yeah, the hammer brother sound is a little annoying, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um. Okay, I I am only half paying attention, which is going to be my down down fall one of these times. Like right now, when I'm trying to read the chat when uh, Koopas are flying at me. Um. Oh yeah. No, I don't. I don't feed for views. I would like. I, I'm not going to lie. I would love for people to like and comment on videos, but that was a decision that I made that I really, like, I kind of want to do that, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to seem like I'm feeding for views, because I, I really, I'm not. I really just want the likes on videos to show me what people like and what they don't like. Um, but you really should get into the Zelda series. It is one of the best series Nintendo has made. Along with my opinion, the Metroid series. Those are my two favorite series. Um, I'll have to look at that. Um, so yeah, no, I don't. I don't feed for views. I do have my Twitter thing, but that's because I post things on there, questions and other stuff, and there's that. But I don't like say do it or else. Um, yeah. Yeah, see, that's, that's the really big thing, is I want to encourage feedback, but I don't want to seem like, um, I'm like, I don't know, I, I'm kind of torn between the two, because there's the side that seems like they're doing it just to do it, and there's the side that uh, feel they do it because they really want that um, back and forth with their subscribers. So like for example uh, Markiplier uh, Markiplier says like, subscribe, favorite, whatever but he also really wants that direction between him and his subscribers. Um and then there's other people that are like PewDiePie that 
it really doesn't feel that genuine because it is just a hey like subscribe favorite blah 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 and even though he has like uh, things between his subscribers and whatnot it really seems like he that's not really hundred percent what he's there for so I don't know I'm kind of torn between start saying it but if I ever did I'd probably do the same thing I did with like the splash screen at the end just come out and say it say hey I'm going to start doing this and this is why but yeah that's that's pretty much it because the splash screen at the end even though it has a few links to like things I have for support and whatnot it's 30 seconds at the end of the video that you don't even have to watch Do. Yeah, pretty pretty much. I mean, the end of video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Is is a is very blunt. It is. But at the same time, there's like no real sugar coating it. It's just like, hey, I'm going to say this, just straightforward. No, there is no message spam. It is links for videos I need to watch. Um, do do. do. On a full flash screen. Oh, the. Um, yeah. See, that's. That was a big thing for me too, is I wasn't sure if I wanted that splash screen or not at the very end. Um, but at the same time, it's like I use that chance to put other videos I have made up there. And it's so just kind of out of the way in my opinion where you don't even have to watch it. That it just kind of came up with, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. I just told people I was going to do it. Oh, that's poisonous. Yeah. It's it's just kind of a in-between type of thing. There's no reason not to do it, but there's no reason to do it also. It's like if you want to grow your channel, you do it. Which is, that's really what it comes down to. If you want to grow your channel, you do it. It's proven fact that if you remind someone to do something even for two seconds they are more likely to do it but um, it's like your reasoning behind doing it is the most important aspect of it so coming out and say hey you know follow subscribe blah 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 is one thing if you're trying to grow a a community like what I really want to do I want to grow a community I want to do stuff like be able to do stuff in the future if I get a big enough community I would love to throw like charity live streams where I just stream for hours on end but yeah see that's that that's the uh big thing that I like admire about PewDiePie and Markiplier and all of them and uh, Captain Sparkles is they do these huge charity drives and I would love to be able to do that too. Yeah, um, Proton John and Chugga Conroy I think are a little bit different because they kind of grew their channels because they started LPing towards the beginning of the whole LP thing. Um, yeah. It, it really isn't saying, hey, click the link or, you know, I'll murder your children. But, uh, I don't know. Sometimes some people like PewDiePie don't really seem genuine about it but they do good things uh in the end so i don't know it's just kind of a matter of how you look at things and the direction you uh, take it i guess okay 
Let's see. It says go up. I could, I could sworn that you could uh, kill wigglers by uh, spinning, spin caping them. But I'm not a hundred percent anymore. Um, that's just for the. S A. I'm not really sure. Um, S A. Like Proton John S A type of thing, because I'm not really sure what the S A stands for, or if that was just a thing he had. I know he came from uh, the something awful for. Oh, that must be what it is. Something awful. Yeah, that's where kind of Rao Cow came from too, was something awful. And I, w I would love uh, that. It's funny because I was talking, I, I know exactly what something awful is. But I was like, oh, I don't know what SA is, something awful, I don't know. God, um, which network? That is, would be my question, which network? Because there are good networks and there are bad networks, and it all depends on which one is kind of offering you to uh, join them. Well, see, the big thing is, I actually, I actually applied for a partnership, uh, thanks to a fellow subscriber of mine and um, actually have a pretty good partnership right now but uh, I actually think I may be ending the stream I will be right back really quick and look at that I'm back to the same spot I was when uh, I had to abruptly stop the stream last week so, like always, I am always open for uh, suggestions on what games I should be playing. And if anyone wants a link to what games I have on Steam, I actually have a link so you don't have to open Steam up and all that. Um, yes, it should be. Should be 60 frames per second. Or, uh, I think it's 60 frames per second? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what uh, Z SNES um, uses because this is currently on Z SNES. And what is up here? The, did I already do that? I don't know if I did or not. I could have sworn. Uh, yes, the quality should be a probably equal, if not maybe a little bit better than YouTube. Um, because it is higher frame rateage, and hopefully I won't be having issues with my internet this time because they did a huge repair. Um, was it yesterday? I think it was uh, yesterday. Um, my my upload is actually really good, so I stream in 60. Actually, I don't know if I have it set to 60 or 30. I thought I had it set to 30. Hmm. That could just be uh, me streaming ZSNES that's running at 60. But I actually have really good upload. Not the best upload, mind you, but really good upload speed. But as I was saying yesterday, there was a huge, huge internet outage that affected like 10,000 people in my area. So that was, uh, that was fun to deal with. Um, it could be 60. It could be. And that just, that could be how I have it set to broadcast, which I thought I set it to 30. Who knows? Sometimes you, YouTube, uh, your upload is like 20 megabytes. Yeah, mine, mine is supposed to be 50, 30, 50 up or 50 down, 30 up, but I top up, top off at about 35, 22 roughly. 
Oh, that was a uh, had secret exit in there. So I guess I'm going back in trying to find that secret exit. And let me adjust my windowing. So there we go. Now I have my chat up front, which is what I wanted all along. No, do not hit the squiggler. That is what I'm going to call him today, squiggler. Um. Yeah, that I I should should have mine set to 720p, and I thought I had it set to 30 frames per second. Um, but I'm not positive about that now. Um, what it could be is, even though YouTube goes at about 30 frames per second, sometimes it tops off at about 15. Um, so you can get kind of strange, uh, video laggage. Um, yes, yes, I, I can see you now because I changed my windows around. Did I really not get that far into this level before I had to uh, abruptly move or change or leave? Whatever I was thinking. Where would the secret exit be? I am not really sure. Oh well. We'll figure it out. Anyway. Um. Eh, that could be. Uh, there's things about YouTube that are really good and some things that are like really questionable but it's it's not too bad I don't seem to have that big of an issue with it with uh, bit crushing and stuff but it does throw my uh, videos into a very strange format no it's probably in that pipe and I probably wanted uh, the springboard so I'm just going to rewind my space-time a tad to uh, try and get it. Um, I that is actually what I do is I film. Uh, was it 960 by 540, and then upscale it to uh, 1080p. Um, new virus is coming in two weeks. There's always a new virus coming. Depends on where on the internet you're clicking links from. Okay, I could have sworn that pipe was going to be something, but I guess it was not. It was not anything. Yeah, it, it, it's true. New, new tempted, uh, or new tempted, new virus comes out almost daily. Um, I don't know. That I'm not too worried about the virus thing because that happens a lot. So, there's that. See, I would play full screen, but certain uh, programs don't like it when you play full screen. So, I tend to play windowed um, at either 720 or... I guess it's... It's not... Um, what resolution do I... Yeah, I'll either do 540 or 720 when I record uh, windowed and then bump it up to uh, 1080 afterwards. Which, you don't really see that big of a degeneration on it. De Is that the right word I'm thinking of? I know which word I'm thinking of. I'm not sure if I use the right one. Uh, P-switch. There could be a P-switch in that past level. But uh, I moved forward, so I wasn't going to take up everyone's time on that one level. Well, let me just move forward here. Um, you don't record at that res. Well, if you're playing full screen, you would have to be recording at that um, resolution. You can render smaller. But if you're playing full screen, you're recording at 1080. You can have a bitrate that's smaller to 720, but you're still running uh, 1080. Um, 
I don't know. I don't fully believe in that virus because there's another one that runs around that's like an FBI lock that holds your computer quote unquote ransom, but it's pretty easy not to be affected by it. So, I don't know. I'm not 100% sold on that uh, virus you're talking about. How the what am I... I guess do that. Um, well, no, there... Uh, there really isn't an extreme point in doing it. Uh, except for better quality on the viewer's end because they can then choose which quality they want to watch in because YouTube does uh, do its own filtering. But it, that's what it comes down to. If your computer can't handle uh, rendering something like that, then I wouldn't go for it. Um, yeah, if your computer can't re render things at 1080p, uh, I would just stick with 720 uh, at least, or even 960. But, uh... Oh, oops. Clicked out of the game window. I don't know. I like rendering at that higher point because it gives the viewers the option to uh, watch at a higher quality. That is my whole opinion on it. Um... How do you get your CPU to run that hot? I mean, mine... Oh, it's an AMD. Okay, that's why. That explains it. AMDs are not super powerful when it comes to rendering stuff. Um, and really, when it comes to rendering, you need a really good amount of RAM as well and not rely so much on your CPU. And if you can do it, do a split CPU GPU uh, render focus, uh, which will actually cool your computer down significantly and usually helps with rendering things out a little bit quicker. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm running a, uh, actually an i5 I got from work. So it's a little, it's a little different than normal i5s because it's pre-unlocked and has a couple other weird things about it, but... Uh... I don't know. I, I'm still very skeptical about that virus because viruses come out every day and if you know what you're doing and you're computer savvy, you can usually get out of those you need to pay to do things. Um, no, I do not overclock. I could with my um, CPU, but no, I don't actually overclock. Um, let's redo the thermal paste. Yeah, that's something you could do, but it's not super... Not, I wouldn't say it's not super important to redo the thermal paste, but it's not uh, fully needed. Um, yeah, I, I could overclock mine, as I said, but normally with... Uh, yeah, there there's that. I... What is mine? Mine's an i5, but its specs are different from a normal i5. Uh, because I got it from work. So I can't remember what mine runs at not being overclocked. I think it's set to run at 3.5, but it actually runs closer to 4.0. Okay, bird. I don't know. I'm, I'm not super big on overclocking. Overclocking should really only be used if you have a good cooling system which a lot of people don't have. So, I don't know. I wouldn't personally overclock unless you know exactly what you're doing with it because it can seriously overheat and burn out your computer pretty quick. Uh, World 2 Ghost House. Let's head on in here. 
And like I've mentioned many times in the past, uh, for any newer viewer that's in here that may be not talking, if you have any game suggestion to what you would like me to play, feel free to post it in the chat. And if you want a link to all my games I have on Steam, I have a link I can give you. Um, yeah, if you have a watering, uh, water cooling system, uh, overclocking can work really well. But if you don't have water cooling, uh, overclocking is not that best, that good of an idea. And the little pumpkin bob here. Hey. Okay, no, I can, I can squish him. Oh, come on. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 campaign. Oh, um, yeah, I could do that. That is something I was trying to think if I installed it, but I believe I did subscribe to it on the workshop. I just wanted to at least start off with this so I had something to be doing when I started the stream. Well, there's an exit. I don't know if it's all the exits. Oops. Uh, but it is an exit. And I also have to remember I'm using my real mic, well, my studio mic, not my headset. So, I'm hoping I'm not super quiet, which I don't think I am, since you are referring to what I say. That was, that was a very short ghost house. Uh, I know what I, what I should do is figure out how to make a, uh, a bot, a bot thing, so I can add one of those thanks for following things that appear on my screen. Not 100% if I can do that with Moobot or Nightbot or make my own or what. Um, oh, yeah, that's that's a thing I should watch out for. That turtle. And not read chat. Uh, stuff like this makes me miss. Yes, I was actually thinking that today. Because I was reading on uh, Super Mario World Central a bit. I was looking around and saw a couple, like, hack threads. I'm like, you yeah, know, that... Like, setting up progress and stuff makes me miss hacking, but at the same time, I just haven't done it for so long that I'm not sure how good uh, um, I would do. Well, okay, so Nightbot can do it. The only thing I was wanting to do is give it my own name, which I'm not sure if Nightbot can do that, give it its own personal name, or if I need to set up a uh, kind of a bot account on Twitch to do that. Which I could do that too, that's not really that big of a deal, setting up a bot account, but uh, figuring out what control I have. And if I have to use something like MIRC, which I don't have and don't fully want to pay for. But... Uh, Options, I have options. So, I will at least. Oh, that insta kills. So, I will at least play this hack to the castle. Um, and after that, maybe you'll look at switching games. But again, if anyone has any suggestions or wants to see the list of games I currently have on Steam or anything. I will link to that list if anyone wants it. Uh, yeah. See, mine, mine. I just kind of got burnt out on it. That's really what it was. I got burnt out on hacking, which why I stopped playing hacks for a while, and stopped doing uh, lunar magic. Uh, 101 or whatever it was called and then Lunar Magic updated like two or three times and I just I'm not up to date with the newest one so there's no real point in me going back to it right now until I learn the newer ones and it's just I don't have the extreme amount of time I used to have to be able to do that so I have lots of uh, reasons behind it too. 
Mine are just more technical, I guess. Okay, get that. Got a few uh, dragon coins. Hello, funny ways. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy your time here. Watching me play kind of good at uh, Super Mario World for now. Because that may change, it may not, as to be determined. Um, to do VLDC. I don't know, I, I've heard that before. The Vanilla Level Design Contest, there we go. That is the acronym I was trying to remember. Yeah, I've, I think, no, the only, the only, um, contest I was going to enter was the, um, what is it, make a good level contest, uh, for Super Mario Bros. X on Raukau Forum, the talk house, but, uh, due to other issues outside of my control, I didn't have any time to actually work on it and finish it, so... Which was disappointing, because I really wanted to get a level out for that, but I could not. Yeah, I looked at Super Mario World Central Production 2 thing, and just big hacks like that I tend to stray away from, because it just seems like it's too much pressure for any one person to really deal with. Even though it's just making a level, it's all the fancy stuff that they usually want to put into it. And you usually have a uh, leader that's only half there most of the time. So, there are things. There are things that happen with that sort of stuff that, meh. Um, yeah, see that's the other thing is, I really like Super Mario World Central. I do. But they've become kind of like a design Nazi of sorts. A lot of them. Not not all of them, just a lot of them. And so, it just, they have this stigma of, well, you have this, so you're not going to get it accepted. Um, a Super Mario thing. I, I played ASMT, I think. Did I play AS... I, I could have sworn I played ASMT. I might have played production, but um, I swore I played ASMT. Because I know I have a couple levels floating around for ASMT 2, or A2MT, uh, before it died, and they were like the precursors to what the real levels were going to be. Um... Yeah, that's, I, I remember that, and I could have sworn I played through ASMT. I really could have sworn I played through ASMT. But I could be wrong, and I could be thinking of Demo and the uh, A2MT levels that I played, or kind of beta tested for a few of the members. So, that is something I could be thinking of, and I could be completely wrong about me actually okay I did play it I could have sworn I did but I wasn't like positive there's a lot of hacks that I have played that I just don't fully remember um yeah see that's that's the big thing is they do have this stigma of well level design should be this and kind of abide by this but every engine and every game is different um i wouldn't say 41 levels of asmt because i do more than just one level uh per video so I probably did play the entire thing. It was just 41 videos long. Because especially in the early game, in most hacks, I can usually do three, four, five levels of video. And then in later game, that's when it uh, slows down. Um, 
41 levels. Four? What? I'm slightly confused. Um. Try and read chat and do this. But I'm having to look all over my monitor because they're on two different sides. Oh, pokey. Oh, that is not very nice. It is quicksand. And that is a large pokey, which I forgot you can actually custom sprite in. But that is okay. And midway point. So, this is, uh, I, I have to say, I kind of like this hack. It is very rompish for the most part, which is very nice and a good uh, difference in some of the hacks I've played where it is not very romp like. And randomly pressing down made it um, custom music, which kind of became less about how does it sound, more about how much technical. Yeah, I have noticed that, and a lot of custom music has been turned away from custom music and turned into what can you port? Really? Which I love, I really love ports and being able to add in songs from other games that I really like. But having like your own custom music is really nice. Which, um, something I could probably never do because I can hear music and I can understand music, I just can't make my own music. Which kind of is kind of sad because I would love to be able to kind of do that for video games, or at least uh, small projects that I work on. Making video games would be something I would love. Hello, Tender Zero, Tendero, Tendero. The oh, okay. Well, there's the end of the hack. Um, the only thing I could do is look for... Hello, Phantom the Fox, the end of the demo, thanks for playing! Lay, comment, I don't know. That's... I have no idea what that means. So, I'm going to go back, try and find the secret exit to the level over here that I could not find. And in the meantime, while doing this... I would like to get a new game I could play. Um, if anyone has a suggestion for me, I am doing good. I'm actually awake for once. I don't know what I caught a uh, couple days ago or yesterday or whatever, but it has made me really lethargic. Um, things with my port when Yeah. That's, that is something. So, where could... I'm wondering, I, I have to assume the secret exit was implemented, but where it was implement, implemented is the big question here. So, yeah, I'm going to look for the secret exit. Uh, if anyone wants a link to the games I have on Steam, or have an idea for any games themselves, feel free to let me know and I will give it a very good uh, a look at thought process. Whatever you want, consider it. Yes, I will, I will look at each and every um, suggestion made and try and uh, make an educated opinion on it. If not, I may jump over to uh, Terraria and continue with Twitchy for a little bit or continue on with something else. Okay, this vine... Okay, no. I can say that vine goes, like, down. Well, I could do this. I wonder if that's a thing, going all the way back to the beginning. No? Does not look like it. Um, it is not the original Super Mario World. This is a hack of uh, Super Mario World. It is 
Oh, I don't remember the exact name. It's in the title of the stream. Because this is what I ended the stream on last time. Uh, middle of this level. And I picked it up from there. Okay. Where, oh where, could it be? Ah, there it is. Okay. I thought that looked a tad suspicious. And over here, I should, yes, get the key. And I, yep, there we go. And keyhole. Um, well, it might look suspicious, but I found, I found where it was. Okay. Well, let's play this level and run across some donut drops. Even though they're called donut lifts, which is uh, kind of strange because they don't lift you up, they drop you down. Unless it's like a lift as in traveling. But who knows? I'm flying over the entire level because I don't really want to deal with fish. Yes, that is thing that I'm not a super big fan of, is uh, dealing with fish. Okay, well, I'm just going to float on over, because the fish are jerks. And they're very purple. Very, very purple. And of course, they're trying to jump at me again. There we go. That was a quick level. Um, so I could do, I could do a Left 4 Dead 2 campaign, which I may actually do if I don't get any other suggestions. Hopefully, with my internet actually uh, working better today than it was earlier, I won't have any crashes or anything. So I'm going to save there. I'm going to turn on my kitty cat screen!